lol mm, today let's take a look at something really interesting so this one is called hikari so hikari is a valent compositor which is like it's having its roots related to cwm so without wasting our time let's begin the installation so here on my desktop you can see like i'm on arch if you use sudo pacman dash capital s followed by wl roots caro pango xorg server xvalent so we are going to install all this because we need uh, like these are all the dependencies that are required by hikari so hikari actually is built for freebsd but it also works in linux so you do this and after this installation is done you have to install like uh, you use your favorite ui helper you can install hikari and lib ucl you need to install these two packages so that is that so after the installation is done pretty much you have to do is you have to like copy um, the configuration of hikari to a directory inside dot config so before doing that we need to like create mkdir dot config slash hikari so this one will uh, create the directory for us so after we create this directory we do like we do a cp of uh, the hikari configuration file from hc hikari to our dot config so we will have like a local configuration for our current user so we are going to copy this from etsy hikari hikari.com to inside our home folder so the tilde represents our home folder followed by dot config and the directory which we have created before hikari so if you take a look at there and if you take a look at the hikari.com you can see like this is the configuration file along with the key bindings of hikari so you have your border border gap steps and the font specified and you have your color scheme this is the space like where you set wallpaper so thing is i couldn't set a jpeg wallpaper i had to use like when i whenever i change i had to use a png wallpaper i don't know maybe it's some configuration missing from my side i'm, I'm not sure about it because this is not to like this is not built for linux maybe that's that i'm not sure so you have all these options over here you can set like custom key binding so here you can see actions so inside here normally you will have like terminal and in this portion it will be written like dollar terminal so instead of that have replaced that with uh, my terminal my preferred terminal name so if you are using something like urxvt st or something like uh, something um, like termite alacrity or something you can put it over here then you should put it under actions um, in a moment i will tell you why because if we go down we can see a specific key binding l plus return so don't forget about this this is nothing it doesn't work it was created by me but it's not what it was supposed to be so it's pretty much useless so if you look over here your l plus return opens up action terminal so what that means is you are using your mod key plus your return l stands for logo so if you use your logo plus return it open up your terminal so l logo for windows logo mac logo whichever logo you are having so like command key 
whichever is there here you see like capital C capital C is for control so left side control A for alt these are your keys in your key bindings so this one is like uh, pretty different so you have your mice mouse bindings so in, if you want to exit you can use left um, like your mod key your control your alt and q to quit out of your hikari so without wasting much of your time let me bring you to hikari so for me to launch hikari i just need to type hikari in my tty so this is hikari so if i do a mod and enter it's going to open up my terminal so if i need to move this to some specific like location i can use my mod key and arrow keys so it'll do that if i use mod and shift and arrow keys it's going to put it to the end extreme so you can do that then if you use your mouse and your mod key if you are using your left mouse click you can move it free like freehand motion and if you are using your right click you can make it like smaller bigger whichever size you require you can do that then the next thing is you can similar to workspaces you have like sheets inside hikari so if you want to move through sheets you can use mod and j k something like that so it will give you motion through your sheets so if you want to move from one sheet to another you can use that mod and the number of like you can use mod and j and k to navigate or you can use mod and the number of the sheet then if you want to move something to like so let's say this is my first terminal if i want to move this to second workspace i can use mod shift and two so it's already in, like it's moved to the second sheet if i use mod and two you can see that terminal is over here so if i want to close this i can use mod and q so that exits out of the current focus window so if you open up like two terminals it will be like one will be on top of another so you move one you can see the other one is behind then you can like uh, pretty much move it with mouse or like it's entirely up to you how you want to customize this thing then the next thing is you can like uh, open up or customize your key bindings if you open up with them or your preferred text editor if you open up your configuration you can like read through the configuration over here so this one like lcac so this one was like created by me and it was supposed to open up Woofy, but it didn't work out as planned i do have Woofy available so i can open up my file manager in order for you to reload your configuration changes you can do a mod control and alt with r so if you do that it's going to restart your mm, hikari along with the new configuration changes so if you want to lock you can use mod shift and backspace so i'm not sure which lock it's using but i don't have any locks like even x lock more i don't have that installed and i don't think x lock more works with this so if i want to quit i can do a mod, no, mod alt control and q see i'm out of hikari so that is that i hope this one was somewhat useful i hope you all have a wonderful day